Unlimited Touring Bike is the ultimate conversation starter. Yep, that's me, Eric with a K. And if you think I'm crazy, then so is she. That's Annalisa, and we biked across America together, and now we're out here in Alaska. The reason we know each other is because we're both type 1 diabetics from the New York area. What this disease means is that we have to do the work of our non-functional pancreases. This can be a real pain while we're in the middle of nowhere. It means sometimes we just have to pull over, stop in the middle of the road, and eat something. I am having a banana and peanut butter, which is my favorite roadside snack because I got the double arrows down on my Dexcom. So you can imagine driving along and seeing these two cyclists in the middle of nowhere. That's when you might pull over and ask one of the usual questions. Where are you going? I designed a 1,000 mile loop out of Anchorage for the Lael Rides Alaska Women's Scholarship. I ended up not getting it, but made a pledge to go no matter what. What do you eat? Eric, what have you concocted? I think we're calling it trail cookie dough, but we have peanut butter, rolled oats, and honey all in one. A nice balance of high fat and high carb. One to treat my low, but two to keep me fueled for the day. What do you even do? We make a magazine about the people we meet on our bike travels. It's a celebration of the ways the bicycle brings people together and the kindness that exists across this country. The magazine is $20 and it can be purchased at milesofportraits.com slash store. Did you write that down? Why? Bicycle touring is the most liberating way to travel. Every time I open my Maps app and see how far that blue speck has progressed across the country, knowing it was my two legs that did that, I get goosebumps. The second reason is a little closer to home. Four years ago, I lost my mother to leukemia complications, and going through the nightmare of watching her struggle in the ICU ultimately made me decide to stop putting my dreams off for someday. Martin, our first Warm Showers host in Anchorage, answers this question pretty well. You get to spend months in a place and not weeks. <laughs> I like that. Easy to meet people, because a lot of times they approach you, you don't have to approach them. And it's more difficult, so you have to try harder, find a place to sleep, to find food, so you get yourself out of your comfort zone and you open yourself up to others to a lot of help from others sometimes. <laughs> now, Marston and Kate opened up their home to Annalise and I despite having a one-month-year-old child. So I had traveled with two bike boxes, one with dark roast, the other with all the gear. And one final task remaining for me was to put on a new chain, which I'd never done before. If you have a multi-tool, this is the piece that you use to try to break your chain and put it back together. Um, so I'm going to probably keep this off the camera because it's going to be tough. Oh. All right, that was um, that was overly complicated, but I did crack it open. Dark Roast was fully assembled for the thousand mile bike trip, but we only had one other problem. You see, Annalisa refused to pay the $600 to ship her bike out here, which means she had to find a bike to borrow. And I decided to reach out to a few Warm Showers hosts in Anchorage to ask if anyone could borrow, if I could borrow anyone's bike. Um, and Jason and Debbie responded like almost instantly because they really love helping out with adventures like these. And then Annalise got in touch with us and Jason was like, hey, there's this girl who wants to borrow a bike. I think she's legit. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Um, and so that's how we decided to invite Elise to use oh. your bike and, or use our bike, the long haul <laughs> trucker, and truck across Alaska. Nice. Yeah. It didn't really stop there. He also picked Eric up from the airport, he fixed his brakes, 
um, gave him new tires. As we were about to leave, he said that the roads that we're going to be on are really gravelly and that he wants us to have a good time in Alaska. With that advice, we finally push off to the train that's going to bring us up to Denali to begin this trip. Now in Anchorage, you still see some incredible sights like a moose along the bike path that you think is going to give you an issue, but you quietly walk around it observe nature but with that obstacle out of the way there is still this issue when going through the tunnel and all of a sudden my chain just stops like i couldn't pedal forward and i realized one of the links is broken but either way we're like okay we got 30 minutes to catch the train annalisa you will ride ahead so we at least get our tickets can tell them about our situation but i'll just walk there because it was like an exact 30 minute walk the first turn I see is this huge staircase. Eight flights of stairs with my 100 pound touring bike. And I'm like, I just keep trudging up, get to the top. And then luckily it was all just a gentle downhill to actually arrive at the Alaskan Depot. And we made it. Ah, shit, swap. Before the trip started, we were reading The Places I Pee, a hilarious and beautifully written cycling blog documenting Chris Hag and Sophie George's bike trip from Alaska to Argentina. It is truly a small cycling world because we end up running into them on the train. So yeah, I think somehow, I mean, we're all kind of riding on the same roads. And so if we're starting at roughly the same time, like it's a small enough kind of world that and we certainly would be crossing paths again but i think it's nice as you begin a journey like this to be able to talk to someone else that's setting out on an adventure truly out of the ordinary to experience new places together to sit across and compare notes and share each other's dreams on what lies ahead but all of a sudden, you turn and look out the window and are reminded of where you are. It's actually not as bad as it looks here, but we have arrived in Denali. We'll be picking up our bikes. Absolutely, hands down, the most gorgeous train ride I have ever been on in my life. It was just stunning. Everywhere you look, this mountains on both sides, rivers, so beautiful and incredibly kind people that we met. I'm so excited to check out Denali and we figured out a little bit of a logistical plan, but we'll have to figure that out for uh, the next video update. Until then, remember you can do anything and go anywhere. Oh, God. <laughs>